Hi, this is Linda Mullen, and I'm here to show you how to create a PayPal shopping cart. It's really very easy. The first thing you're going to need to have is a PayPal business account. And if you don't have that, you need to go to PayPal and sign up for one. And we also have a little webinar that goes over how to create a PayPal business account. When you have a shopping cart, you're going to have photos and images of what you're selling and information about it. And then there's going to be a little button or graphic on the page that tells your customers to purchase now or add this to the cart or whatever words you want to use. It's important to have that button or graphic on your page because the PayPal shopping cart will actually link to that button. And when people press on that button when they're purchasing something, that's what will take them to the PayPal website. You can use any button in the gallery. For instance, this one on the left is just a button that I pulled out and I typed on it as a label, Add to Cart. The second one I, I got for free from our Web Studio template store. You can go to templates.webstudio.com and click on our free zone. In the free zone, we have a section called PayPal buttons. And you're going to click on that, and you'll see an assortment of buttons that say Donate, or Purchase, or Add to Cart. And the other thing that will come in this little packet is actual PayPal logos, so that if you want to put a logo on your page that you accept PayPal payments. Once that's open, you'll see that there's a little link that says Click Here to Download. You don't add this to a cart because it's free. You just click to download. And all of these buttons and files come in a zip file. You just unzip it and use whatever graphics you want. So this one on the right is my Add to Cart graphic. Now I'm going to create my cart. I'm selling bars of soap and number two pencils. The bars of soap cost $25 the pencils cost five. These are the steps to creating the cart. First, I'm going to select the button or graphic. Then I'm going to click on the PayPal command. Then I'm going to fill in the information. And then I'm going to sell my product. So let's do that right now. I'm going to click on the button. Go to the Create tab. And click on PayPal cart. Immediately, the PayPal button properties opens up. My product is SOAP. If you have a SKU number, you can put it here. I don't have one. I'm selling my SOAP for $25. I filled in my email address and the URL of my site. If I wanted to, I could choose a success page. And the way that I do that is by clicking on the little arrow and choosing one of the pages from my website. That way, after somebody purchases, they are redirected back to some other page. Then there's a, pay, there's a way that you can choose a cancel page. If they go through the process and, just, and choose not to purchase and they cancel their order, you can still choose a page that you want them to go back to. My currency is US dollars. And I'm going to click OK. Now I want you to notice what happened. I had selected a button, clicked on the PayPal shopping cart, and when the PayPal shopping cart created the linked button, it made a duplicate. So the first one I can put aside and I can move this one here. Now if I want to check to make sure I have the correct button here, if I come over here and double click on Add to Cart, it'll open the Button Studio just like any other button. So I know that Add to Cart is still simply a button. This Add to Cart, when I double click on it, opens up the PayPal button properties. So I click OK. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to fill in the information for my pencils.
I've decided to leave uh, a shipping address there. My email is already populated because I've already been here before, so you can see how quickly and easily it is to add some more products. I still haven't chosen a page because I'm just doing a demonstration right now. I click OK, remove the first button, put the second one here, double click to make sure all the information is correct, and click OK. I'm going to save my project, which you should really do most of the time, as much as you can. Can't stress it enough. And now I'm going to go to the Preview Upload Host Page, and I'm going to click on Preview Page. I'm going to go over here. I have a, a, a Internet Explorer block some active X controls on my computer, so I'm going to allow block content. And I'm going to click Add to Cart. Add to Cart automatically opens the PayPal website, and it automatically opens my cart. Now, one of the things that you can see here is that I've been practicing onto this cart for a while, so I have an ongoing and running cart here, and I've already purchased one pencil, one soap, and now I've just purchased two more soaps. Your customer will have a choice of continuing shopping, checking out with any credit card, or checking out with PayPal. I'm going to close that, and that's all there is to creating a PayPal shopping cart. Thank you for listening.